and welcome back to my channel. So if you didn't know me, I'm Molly and I just do random videos of random crap pretty much. But we are close, four months away, it, that's not close, but it seems close. We are close to getting out of lockdown, so we can just go back to normality. Uh, we can vlog normal stuff, do normal stuff, and I'm so excited. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the, the then please hit the like button. I put a poll question thing on my Instagram, and so we're going to do assumptions videos today. So you've all sent your assumptions about me, and I'm just gonna, gonna, I'm just going to basically say if they're true or false and I'll probably elaborate on some of them probably all of them because I go on a tangent and talk about everything for so long if you haven't already guessed first assumption is you've never been to the US no I've never been to America or United States I wish I had and that is like one of my one goals that I want to do go places I want to go there but no I haven't been so the second one is two questions in one so is Molly a dog person? Yes, wow, am I a dog person? I'm an animal person, I love animals. I've got two cats, Bernard and Brian. Yes, I know strange names. But yeah, I've got two cats and I would love to have a dog if I was allowed, but not allowed. But when we move out, that's like one of the first things me and Lucy are gonna do is just get a dog. Because we love animals, well, I love animals, but he doesn't really, but yeah. Second one is, this one's aimed at Luke. Obviously, I'm gonna answer it on behalf of him. I asked him before, I read this. Can Luke burp on command? Yes, he can, and it's gross. Oh, next question. Ain't something that wasn't actually yours then blame someone else? Of course, all the time, probably every day. I always blame my stepdad and it's never him, it's always me. You're a vegetarian. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. However, I wanna say about two, three months ago, I tried to go vegetarian and it didn't work. I probably tried, like, cut everything out for a whole week I just couldn't do it. I could not do it. And to be fair, I don't really like meat that much. The only meat I eat is chicken and pork. That is it. I don't really like beef, unless it's a beef burger. I don't... I oh, can't stand lamb. What other meats are there? But anyway, yeah, I basically just like chicken and pork, so... I'm not a vegetarian, but... Yeah. Was it you in the popular group at school? So, I went to three different secondary schools. I wouldn't say I was in a popular group. I, know, I knew people. I knew quite a lot of people, but... I wouldn't say I was popular, I don't think. So, no, I don't think I was in the popular group at school, I wouldn't say. I don't know. I've got, like, one friend now, so <laughs> most likely not. Um, yeah, I need more friends. DM me if you want to meet my friend. Is it true... Uh, is it true you got your ball patch coming out of your mother's area? I'm not going to use the word that they used. Yes, it's true. So if you didn't know, I'm just going to get it out and show you. Oh, look at the camera, it just en enlightens it, really. Hmm. So yeah, I'm bold, here. So the way I got that was, and this is clarified by the doctors, was I came to, out too fast at birth, and I got a friction burn off my mother's downstairs, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I've lived with that my whole life. It seems to be getting bigger as I'm getting older. I don't know if it's just because I've got a big head and my head's growing, but I don't know. So yeah. Yeah, yes. And my phone's upside down. Um, you don't like feet. I won't say I don't like feet. I don't like have a feet phobia. I have ugly feet. I have very flat, long, ugly feet. I won't say I don't like feet. If someone comes in with a foot, I'm not going to run away. Maybe. But yeah, so, yeah, no. It's not a yes or no. I don't like feet and I don't hate feet. <laughs> you don't have many friends. Okay, guys, I get it. I don't have many friends. I don't know why I'm a cat. I have some friends, I have like two friends. If we include my boyfriend then that's three. It's really sad because the other day, right, I entered a giveaway on Instagram and it said tag three friends. I had to tag my boyfriend because I didn't have anybody else to tag. Is that sad? Guys, pull me out of this situation and be my friend please. <laughs> um, you got your carpet burn, which is what people refer to this as, off your mother's I can't say this word. Yes, yes, I got it from my mother's area. Area. You're a virgin. Of course. Hello. No, I'm not a virgin. I'm not. Um, no. Is your body count over five? No, actually, it's not. And if your body count is over five, then you do you and do what you want to do. Who cares about your body count? But mine isn't over five. I haven't had that much experience in life. 
Um, yeah, anyway, this one is, were you bullied or was you the bully? I don't ever think I was a bully, ever. Obviously, you get into your arguments at school, especially when you go to an all-girls school, it's quite bitchy. But I, I don't know, I've never, I've never directly, we've got, I've got into arguments with girls and I said some nasty stuff, I'm not going to lie. But I've never, no, no, I've never been a bully, I've never just gone around tripping people up, I've never, no, no. And, and to be fair, I was bullied in primary school, never really in secondary school, but primary school I was. Um, I used to get called fat. I was quite a chubby kid. I remember, <laughs> it's funny now, it's funny now, but the time really upset me, so if you said this to me. So I got told that I caused the tsunami in Thailand because I was fat. <laughs> okay, it's funny now, but childhood childhood trauma is really up there. What else? I used to get called whale. I used to, I, yeah, I was a bit tubby, all right? Nothing wrong with tubby kids at all. If somebody calls you fat, just slap them. Yeah. Your assumption, you are hoe. I am not a hoe. Define the word hoe. I haven't got a high body count. I know I've been there that many people and everybody I've done the deed with, I've been in a relationship with. Yeah, so I'm not a hoe, but who uses the word hoe anymore? You, do you, do it, who cares? I'm hoping you can hear that. This is what I have to put up with. The assumption is you drink a lot do. So I'm guessing you're asking if I, I drink a lot. No, I, to be honest, I personally, I have reasons as to why I don't drink, but I drink like once a year, twice a year at a push. I don't drink very often. Um, but after lockdown's done, I'm going to become the next alcoholic. Next one is, you fell out with all your friends. I have my friends to fall out with. No. No, I've not fallen out of any of my friends. <laughs> so I don't have any. No. Kira, we never fall out. I think we've fallen out like once and that was in college and that was over petty drama. And that was the only time I've ever fallen out. And I don't have any other friends to fall out with. Do you get any hate? No, I won't say I get any hate. I've got comments calling me, asking me if I'm a hoe and a bitch, but no, I don't get any hate, I don't think. Not what I know of. I don't think to be honest, I know people say, oh, I've never been bothered, no, no. I don't think, I think, I don't know, I think you'd, you'd be affected by hate if you thought that about yourself. Do you get what I mean? Oh, unless it's like really bad hate. I don't know. Am I just opening myself up for hate now? You don't want any kids is the next one. Yes, I do want kids. I just don't want them yet. If it happened, it happened, but I just, I don't know how many kids I want. I want to say, you know when you want a big family, but then you don't want a big family. If I could cope, I'd want a big family, but if not, I wouldn't want a big family. Luke doesn't want a big family, he wants like two kids, but I know that I want more than two. Maybe three? Maybe four? I'm not going to be allowed to have more than two kids, because they won't let me. Some of these are just really random, so you don't have a job. Yes, I have a job. I work full time. I work nights. I'm not going to disclose where I work, um, but yeah, I do have a job. I work nights. Full time, so 40 hours a week. Um, yeah, nothing more to it. I work. Next question, assumption or whatever on the how I'm doing here is you want to be a YouTuber. Yes, I want to, I, I wouldn't say I'm a YouTuber. I would say I put stuff on YouTube. But I do want to be a successful YouTuber maybe in the future. Don't know if it's going to happen. My YouTube, my content's probably not that great. It's not probably not that engaging, but yeah. Do you suffer with bad skin? Um, yes, I do, but I suffer with it like not all the time so I suffer with it when I'm during my period it's usually the week before I have a bad breakout which lasts about two weeks so like two weeks out of the month I've got clear skin and then like the two weeks other two weeks I've got bad skin so right now my skin isn't I don't know if you can see but it isn't too bad so I've got some bits always around my mouth as well always around my mouth um but yeah no I don't suffer with it overly bad um but I do I do get quite a bad breakouts now and then it's usually worse when I'm stressed as well um but yeah, I do go breakouts. The next one is, you don't show any emotion. I think I do. Obviously, I'm not going to come on here and be like, oh, I'm sad. 
No, seriously though. No, I don't. I, I think I do. Like, I'm happy. I show that. I sh think I show empathy and sympathy. I think. And but I'm not gonna come on here and be like, oh, help me. So this wasn't an assumption. This is a general question, but I'm fine to answer it. So somebody basically asked me who's my favorite YouTuber. I got a few. So I've got Bailey Sarian. Sarian, however you pronounce her last name. Um, she is my go-to every day. I get ready or if I'm just bored. I will watch her videos over and over and over again. She just intrigues me. And then my favorite like family YouTubers are the LeBrant family and This Is Howie Bingham. I love them. Um, I don't really watch anybody else. I watch McKenna Grace. I don't know if anybody have seen um, her. She's like quite a small, well, not quite small, she's a small YouTuber. She's great too. Um, but yeah, I'll watch loads of different people just randomly, like I'm not watching for weeks and then I'll just binge watch all their videos. And the last one, which is just very random, is you're a bad cook. Um, my stepdad would say yes. It's not that I'm a bad cook, I just don't cook because my stepdad cooks, he's a really good cook, so he just cooks, cook, cook, cook. How many times could I say cook? He just cooks for us all the time, uh, he, he's a brilliant cook. But when they're on holiday, I will cook for me and Luke, um, or myself if it's just me, and yeah, it's not too bad. It's not great. I'm not amazing. I can follow a recipe. It's by it. But anyway, that is it. Thank you for your assumptions. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe. I am going to link my Instagram down here. I always point in the wrong direction, so I put it. I think I point there and it goes there all the way around. Somewhere here will be my Instagram tag. Go and follow me there. I am doing a giveaway at the end of March and we are announcing it on the 1st of April. I'm partnering with somebody. I'm going to keep it a secret until we actually put it out there. So it's going to be very exciting. I do stuff that is aimed to support people's mental health. So last time I did a like a self-care giveaway and you guys really enjoyed that. So if, I'm going to do that again. If you're interested, then please go follow my Instagram. All I ask is basically you subscribe to my channel. So it's completely free. I'm just doing it to promote mental health and promote my Instagram and YouTube. So yes, if you're interested, then follow me down below and I will keep you updated on when that's gonna happen. That is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. These next few months are just gonna get better. So stay strong, look after your mental health and I will see you next time. Bye.